Hi everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I just want to uh, call out some great work which has been doing, uh, which has been going on in the forum lately, and is available to everyone out there. So, if you're listening to this tutorial, um, whether you have access to the forum or not, you can still take advantage of this great content embedded in here. Um, and it's around uh, DAX formula patterns and and uh, DAX or, or DAX formula combinations, as, as sometimes what I call them. Um, and we're going to focus on cumulative totals here. So what we've got uh, in the forum, um, you know, the forum itself is a, it's, it, it's really a, a one one size, uh, one portal for, for everything. We've got great conversations happening, support and coll collaboration. It's also where we hold our Power BI challenges. But one of the um, recent additions is we have a, uh, a new um, a category for DAX um, patterns, right? So it's actually right down the bottom here. And so we're, we're slowly filling in um, the details of each of the formula um, ideas and formula combinations that you can use. And so I want to really dive into, you can so you can navigate here as well. I'm going to dive into the cumulative total um, formula here. So so Greg, one of, uh, one of our enterprise DNA experts, um, Greg Phillips, has been doing um, some, you know, fantastic w w uh, fantastic work within the forum, right? Um, and this highlights it even the most, right? The the, the way that um, uh, he, he's been filling in the blanks here with our uh, with this category. Now, what you can do is is and this is this is what I do sometimes is that you can actually come in here and you can actually copy the formulas. But what um, Greg has also done is he's created really comprehensive notes, okay, around how the formula actually works. So if we dive into here. Um, cumulative, so we've got a description of the cumulative total uh, and then some notes. So use use calculate to change the contents from a selected date to all dates up to including the current date. So it's sort of describing how the, how the formula actually works. Um, and then some tips. Select the text to change, then use control shift L to rename all occurrences at once. Interesting. That's cool. Um, so some tips there around how you, how you can actually use this in your model. So what you could do, I'm going to, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Um, what you can do to actually speed up your development inside of Power BI is you can come in here, you can select it, and then say you want to just create, this, this model doesn't really have much in it, but um, I'm just going to just show you how you could um, create a measure. I'm just going to create a measure uh, in here. And all I need to do is copy it in like that, right? And then all I'd need to do is change the measure in terms of which I whatever whatever calculation I want to accumulate up, okay? And then you see here that you can actually get rid of if you if you you know once you become familiar with all the stuff, do you, you don't really need this as much, so you can sort of delete it and you can make this a little bit um, a, a little bit cleaner um, if, if if you need it to be, okay? And so all it takes is really. Um, a copy and paste, and then um, you've got the formula pattern in there. Now, the cumulative total is a is an is a is a, a really common thing you use all the time. I use it all the time. It's one of the it's one of the staples of you like the staples of, of analysis that you might do in Power BI, and it makes quite a difficult calculation seriously simple. Um, you know, and I've gone over I've gone over cumulative totals quite quite a lot, right? So I'm just really trying to show you showcase to you here how you can optimize things and make things happen faster within your development, utilizing some of the great resources that we have, right? Another thing that I want to just quickly show you is, while well, while we're on this topic, is our DAX cleanup tool. Okay, um, so this is in our new Analyst Hub application, and we're making some big updates to this. Um, so so really stay tuned around that. But um, what you can do in here is also you can you can copy it into here and get some you know get some unique formatting depending on how um, how you actually like it, right? And this is this is a way that you can you know quickly get good format like the formatting that you want inside of your Power BI report. And what we're doing, and this is this is one of the exciting developments, is we're going to enable you to save your formulas. So say for instance you have this list of like a hundred formulas that you use over and over again, which I honestly probably would. Um, like I, I would have that. Um, um, but we're, we're going to enable you to create a catalog uh, within your own profile in the Analyst Hub to be able to quickly go and copy. Um, these formulas across. So, so even though this is this is really awesome, you might have a different format you want. You might not want all this text. And so, what we're going to do inside of here is enable you to be able to click uh, quickly um, push them across um, into your into your model or copy and paste them into your model really really quickly. 
Okay, so within here also, just, just carrying on around cumulative totals, is we've also got how you do cumulative totals last year. So we get this a lot, right? But you know, this is not this is not difficult um, once you once you once you sort of get a bit of understanding around time intelligence. But again, it's been made really easy here for you around how you um, uh, how you can just change the measure inside of the calculate part of the formula to actually get the sales last year, right? Um, and then there's some um, detailed description um, of, of how that works here too. So some pretty in-depth um, learning and understanding, and, but but also not like too in-depth because you don't need to be too in-depth here with, with, with some of these formula patterns. Like it's just, you need to know how they actually work, um, you know, and like theoretically how they work. And then you can just copy and paste the formula over and over again. Like, in, you know, and initially, um, you know, that, that's going to get you in the game. It's going to get you producing some some really good um, insights. And then you can maybe get a deeper understanding of all, all selected, um, you know, as you, as you go. Okay, right. So, you know, you can literally just copy and paste this in your model to get going. Now, what also we've added here is um, a, a, a range of different links to dive into tutorials um, and other uh, threads in the forum around cumulative totals. So every variation of cumulative totals is is somehow covered in some way in the content we've created, in some forum threads, some questions um, that users have asked. So we really have the full suite of ways that you might want to use cumulative totals, right? Um, you know, a, a perfect one is uh, how do you how do you stop cumulative totals going out um, way into the future if they only go up to a certain date? Well, that is answered somewhere um, here inside of um, inside of um, um, this particular thread, right? Cumulative totals up to a specific date, um, and there's you know how do you showcase month to date, quarter to date, year to date, up to current date? Again, it's all it's all in here, right? All all curated so that you can really quickly dive into any type of variation around cumulative totals really really easily. So big shout out to Greg. Uh, for his his uh, awesome work within the forum, um, but more spe more more specifically with this category now, this new category of DAX patterns that we have, um, you know, really dive into this. Uh, we'll, I'll make sure this link is made available so that you can um, you can access it uh, around this tutorial. But um, you know, you can always navigate to to our forum, dive into that DAX pattern category, and you're going to find a lot of lot of really interesting um, ideas and, uh, and, and descriptions and techniques, etc. So you see here, there's a, there's a few others as well. So moving averages, dynamic grouping, events in progress, uh, etc. There is actually a more formal, uh, structured course around, um, these formula patterns, um, at all these analytical scenarios that you might be dealing with. That's what I like to call them as well. Um, that's it in enterprise DNA online in our portal. Um, so if you want to get, uh, dive into even you know, more more granular detail on how these works. I highly recommend that, and I've got you know really detailed videos um, explaining how how those all work. Okay, that's all I wanted to do for this one. Just a just a, a solid recap on how you can learn about the cumulative totals, but also just you know, generally how you can um, utilize all these amazing resources that we're building up um, in and around our websites. Um, so definitely take advantage of them if you can. Okay, uh, all the best. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, throw throw the video a like if you um, got a lot out of it. Really appreciate it as always. And don't forget to subscribe. Plenty of um, great content coming out to you. Okay, all the best.